Okay. Hello, everyone. I am Tori DeVito, and this is my wonderful co-star, Nell <laughs> Mater. We are so excited for all of you to see our new movie, Rip and Time. Um, we have a couple of questions that Hallmark Movies and Mysteries sent our way that we will be answering today. So let's get started. Are you ready for the first question? I'm ready. You ready? You really I'm so ready? ready? Okay, I think I'm ready, too. Okay. Right. Um, in Rip and Time... I play a single mother and um, farmer, and Sarah and Rip, played by you, Niall, meet Sarah mm -hmm. in a very mysterious way. Without giving too much away, can we share more about how they come into each other's lives? Yes, I would love to. Um, yeah, well, well, the way they come into each other's lives, at least from my character's perspective, is... Um, he gets told this story by his father that uh, just returned from a 20 year absence that there was a cave he went into and mysteriously disappeared for an amount of time. My character goes to find this cave, discovers it, and he falls asleep in it. And when he wakes up, he goes down to his farm only to discover it is no longer his farm and it is now Sarah's farm. And that's how my character comes into contact with you. Yes. and. My character finds you by, um, my son actually finds you first. Um, and I'm told there is a man in the barn. And I think I find a little sympathy for you because I think maybe this person's hit his head. He doesn't know where he is. He's confused. He's lost. He's how eating raw turnips. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, how can I help this individual get out of my barn and figure out who he is and where he's from? So, um, that's how you first come into my life. Absolutely. Which is, you know, very trusting. I don't know how I would feel if I saw somebody in my barn. Well, yeah, yeah. Sarah was very trusting, but Rip is also very polite. So, That's you know. True. You, That's true. I think I think Sarah knew right away he wasn't a threat, and it was more of a, a mystery about, okay, why is he dressed the way he is, and why yeah. is he talking the way he talks, right? Yeah, and you know what? For the people watching... I know I have Twitter. I'm not so sure you do, Niall, but I, I, think, I, I think I don't think I do. I know I do. So I actually want to know what everybody, when they're watching, if they think that he came off as trust, like if they would have trusted Rip had he landed in their barn. Oh, That's good question. I want yeah, to know. Let's see that. I'm curious because I think actually now that I'm thinking about it, even though I would have been a little wary, like you were very trustworthy. I think I would have trusted him. Anyways, good. Um, I want to hear. Okay. Question number two. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, my character is genuinely concerned for this new stranger and helps Rip figure out who he is and how he got here. What are each of our favorite qualities about our characters? Well, I think Rip is trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I absolutely, um, I loved his sense of wonder, um, his honesty and his loyalty. Those are good. I like what about them. you, Tori? Let's see. Um, favorite qualities about Sarah. I love that, you know, she's gone through so much um, in her life and so many trials and tribulations and hard times and, you know, ups and downs, but she still has so much heart to her and she yeah. still is able to trust, which I think yeah. is a really beautiful quality, especially, especially when you've gone through as much as she has. Yeah, and she's still very open and very, yeah. very, and very caring, very nurturing. Absolutely, because I think it's easy for people to kind of put a shell around themselves when you go through that much. And and she, you know, she's she's got a bit of a a little edge. She knows how to protect herself, but she's still open, and her her heart is still, you know, at the forefront of things, which I think is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question. So, as our characters' relationships progress they discover they have a lot in common as rip helps her farm so how do their feelings for each other start to change as they work together oh that's actually a great question i think that um i think their feelings start to change for each other um well for one after she is willing to take rip in and allow him to stay on the farm where her young son also lives and her father also lives like that that right there showed a, a very high level of trust, and I think it it it, it helped um, Rip feel like he was you know with people that he could trust that would help him figure out what's going on, and I think that the the 
the relationship starts developing because the feelings for all three of those characters, you know, that Rip starts, he, he, he develops a bond with your son, with your father and with you all at the same time. And I think when all those relationships were, were kind of flowing together, um, he couldn't help but feel the way that he felt for Sarah. Yeah, I love that. I actually, I was going to add that kind of similarly. I think that when she sees Rip interacting with her son, I think she's so used to her father being the father figure, which is always an, an interesting dynamic because, you know, her father's a little bit older. So to see somebody a little bit younger be able to be a male figure in her son's life and the way they interact and seeing her son kind of gravitate towards Rip, I think definitely starts changing her feelings. And then also I think, because the guy actually milks a cow and doesn't use a milking machine. And I don't think <laughs> she's seen a real person milk an actual cow. She's so used to these machines in 2022, you know? She's like, who no. is this man that actually milks a cow with his Which marriage? I actually know how to do. But you did. You came in to sit in Niall and Rip combined. They both knew how to yeah. milk a cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, okay, shall we proceed to number four? Let's do it. Okay, so while Rip is staying with Sarah, he starts to regain his memory and claims that he's from the 1700s. Without giving away any spoilers, do we each have a favorite scene that we can't wait for the viewers to watch? I, I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite scene. I have a favorite sequence. And the favorite sequence between our, our two characters, um, for me, um, was the sequence that all happens in New York. That was fun, huh? It was a lot of fun, and it was uh, it was a journey getting there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, but that sequence for our characters, I, uh, I I I I love that. I love that whole sequence for the two of them. That sequence is a lot of fun. I feel like they start even. I feel like that sequence allows them, even though he's from seventeen hundred, she's from twenty twenty two. It, it kind of puts them on like an equal playing field a little bit. You know, they become just two people rather than two people from different times during that Absolutely. sequence, I Absolutely. felt like. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, I felt the same way about it. What about yourself? Was there was there something else? Um, I, I, I'm like a super cheese ball and I love <laughs> everything romance. So I we <laughs> have a dance sequence. <laughs> I loved that. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had to actually recently do ADR for that scene, but it was just like a little part of it. And I, I turned around, I was like, play me the whole thing. Did <laughs> you really? Did you get to see the whole thing? Yes, I love oh. it. I can't wait for people to see it. That's, that's another thing I want to be tweeted about. I want to know how you think our dance scene is. That's so awesome. <laughs> that's a good scene. Um, it is. It was fun. I mean, it was cold, but it was fun. It, it was cold. Very. <laughs> the whole movie was cold. I yes. Remember. Everybody can have that in the back of their minds while we're running around in like, you know, short sleeve dresses. It was freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you weren't in a dress, but that's fine. Sure I was. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so next question. Rip develops a special bond with my character's son, Henry, played by Joshua Black, and teaches him how to defend himself against school bullies. How was it working with him and our other cast members? Oh, Joshua Black. I mean, that just that name alone. Uh, the kid, uh, this was his first project ever, which I, I have a hard time believing because he was so good. I really do feel like that name, Joshua Black, will become a well-known household name at some point. I, I do believe that he has a very bright future. So working with him was, uh, was an absolute pleasure. Um, uh, I, I loved his his sense of play. I loved what he looked for in scenes. He was highly intelligent, um, came in extremely well prepared. Um, he had his mom with him on set every single day and she was so lovely and also uh, a, an actress. Um, she was actually an elf, um, interestingly enough. But um, playing with Joshua in those scenes, it was it was uh, it was my pleasure. And I hope I get the chance to work with that young man again. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. He was so professional. I was shocked that it was his first job as well. He was just like on point all the time, knew his yeah. lines, really prepared. But also like, even if I ad-libbed something, he he didn't even flinch. He would he just went go with it. I know. Prepared, which, you, you know, sometimes that takes a while to get used to being on set for that stuff to come out. But he was he was fantastic. 
Because those things can't be taught. As you know, like as an actor, instincts can't be taught. And he has, he ha he is full of, uh, of brilliant instincts as far as I was concerned. For sure. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see him when we're old and decrepit. He'll just well. go the gate. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, next question. There are some funny moments in the movie with Rip, discovering modern technology from seeing my character use a tractor to playing a game on her phone. And there are there any fun behind the scenes moments that we can share? Fun behind the scenes moments. Um, I mean, I, e even though it's not modern technology, something that I found very funny, and you and I were both laughing a lot, and so was Eric, um, was the fact that I can actually play a blade of, a blade of grass. Very well, actually. <laughs> that was so much fun, getting the chance to show such a weird talent on camera. Yeah. It was very <laughs> impressive. I was like, what? So it was easy to be in that, like, what is going on moment. Because even as Tori, you just came in right into rehearsal. You're like, burr, 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 burr. <laughs> who knows how to do this as well? What is going on here? Yeah. Farm boys. Farm boys do. There you go. Came in, knowing how to milk a cow. You came in, knowing how to play a blade of grass. It was just yeah. like. Meant to be. Exactly. Meant to be. What about you? Do you have a, a behind the scenes funny moment? Um, oh my gosh. I feel like we had a lot of laughs. I feel like I laughed a lot. We did. Um, yeah, we were laughing a lot in between takes. And I think that really being able to build a friendship while you're on set and having that comfortability to kind of be able to joke in between scenes, I think really builds a good like on screen um, chemistry. So I felt really lucky that we were able to do that. Um, but I think my favorite behind the scenes is probably our trip to New York. Oh my gosh, that is the best. Yeah. So when we were on our way to New York, it was like planes, trains, automobiles, like everything. The rip in time was actually really happening. It was wild. So we wrapped at like 3 a.m. You know, we ended the scene. The, our last scene was in the rain and it was cold. And we wrapped at 3 a.m. We got picked up for the airport at like 4.45 a.m. Yeah. None yes. of us had slept. And no. then get to the airport we make it to our connection and then all of a sudden the flights are getting canceled to new york and we're trying to we're scrambling my wheel on my suitcase broke they kicked us out of the terminal niles dragging my 60 plus pound suitcase like for miles with, with no blown wheel. wheel oh my god i'm so smart we finally get to sleep wake up at 5 a.m then we get to new york and niles changing in the back of the bed and we get to set and we're just scrambling. We look at each other, we're like, this is wild. And we filmed all day till 12 a.m. And I think my favorite moment was we finally wrapped. It was me, Cameron, our producer, Jess Harmon, our director, and Niall. And we were sitting at this diner. And Niall was asked for some spaghetti and bolognese. Because I was barely eating all, all shoot. Out comes this plate of like, mozzarella cheese and grease i don't know how they thought that was spaghetti bolognese and we all started laughing so hard that we were all crying just for like 10 <laughs> minutes straight just crying i don't know if it was sheer exha exhaustion but it was that kind of like the yeah. four of us got along so well that we could laugh our way through that and that will be one of my favorite film stories i think for a very long time i had That's so much life. fun and and i think that's what transpires in the movie is the fun that we had like that you know what i mean like even situations that could have been chaotic we were all laughing and having a blast <laughs> we had fun with it we had a really great time all the way through that like that entire trip we had we were all having fun totally and the shots look amazing so i can't wait for people to see that in new york same here it was worth it definitely worth it okay well it looks like we have our last question um if we had the opportunity to time travel what period would we like to visit and why Ooh, I, I've always been, I don't know why, but I've always been intrigued by ancient Rome. So mm -hmm. I think I'd like to go back uh, to ancient Rome um, and experience that just for like a day or two though. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and then come back. Cause I don't want to stay there, but sure. I would really love to experience it for a day, maybe a week. Well, yeah. it depends. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good amount of time. Yeah. A week and then come back. What about you? Um, I always say like the 1800s because I'm such like a Jane Austen like sucker uh, for all mm -hmm. things like that. But I actually think I'm going to change it. I think I'm going to go in the future. Ooh. I would love to go to like 3022. 
Wow. What is our future? Because I'm just, I have no idea what what you know the world's gonna be like. I would love to see what happens that long from now. That'd be really cool. Well, I hope we get it right. I hope we do too. <laughs> hey, there's another trivia. I think I actually say that we have a conversation about getting it right in the future. And so that's another tweet I would love to see. If you, anybody watching catches that in the film, I would love to see it. Um, <laughs> okay, so to wrap up our live chat, we have a rapid fire game of this or that inspired by Rip and Time. Um, we can each pick the option we like best. All right. Okay. You ready? I'm, I'm so ready. Visit a farmer's market or go to a festival? Festival. Farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Farmer's <laughs> market, all right. Go dancing or go bowling? That's hard. Bowling. Ooh, gosh. I mean, if it's like 90s hip hop night, dancing. It's neon bowling. bowling. It's neon bowling. Oh, neon bowling? Okay, I'm in. All right, all right, all right. Time travel to the past or to the future? Oh, I just said the future. Past. Walk out in the country or around a lively city? Country. Country. Yeah. Hot dogs or candy apples? Ooh, that's Ooh, hot dogs. Yeah. Only if it's a vegan hot dog, obviously. Yeah, vegan. <laughs> uh, tend to a garden by hand or ride a tractor. Oh, I've done both of these a lot in my life. Hmm. I think garden by hand. I know. I'm excited, though, because I did just buy, um, like, a, a thing that my, my stepdad is going to teach me how to use the ride on the mo lawnmower. Yeah. yeah. So I think I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to go with the tractor because I'm, like, getting into it on my farm. Did you, did you just get one? Well, he has one. I bought him a um, a trailer so that he lives five miles from me. So yep. when I need to mow my lawn, he's going to drive it over, and then I'm going to mow my lawn, and then he's going to take it back. That's <laughs> awesome. Is it one? Do you Have you have you seen it? Is it one with the handles? I front have no seat? idea. Not sure. Or it does it actually have a steering wheel? It looks like a tractor. Probably a steering wheel, I bet you. Well, you call me if you have any problems. I will. I will. Yeah, I'll let you know how to run it. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good luck. Anyways, that's it. That's the the end of our our little uh, this or that and our questions. So, I want to thank everybody for joining us. This has yes, been thank so you, much everyone. fun. Um, we can't wait for you to watch the premiere of our new movie, Rip and Time. So please tune in this Sunday, May twenty second at nine eight central only on the Hallmark Movie and Mysteries channel and tweet along while you watch using hashtag Rip and Time. And I was telling everybody here, I would totally be tweet live tweeting with you guys, but I'm going to be on a trip um, to Vietnam. So I will be looking for your tweets as soon as I get back and I will answer those ones. And I want to know what I gave you guys as a little trivia. I want you to tweet me. And I may, I may pop in there and live tweet. Oh. A I may, yes. I may, I may. Oh, snap. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all.